happy Palm Sunday. Here in Michigan, the sun is shining. It is 29 degrees out. It is supposed to be in the 50s today and sunny. Nice seeing the sun after all the rain that we've had. Miss Callie was trying to sleep and now Mama's talking. And she's wondering who I'm talking to. But I just wanted to hop on. I am still on my first cup of coffee. I am finishing up my test knit. And all I can show you really is that color right there. So, um, until it's released. I think it's April after April 14th. But anyways, I'm, I still have not had breakfast. Not for sure what I want this morning. I usually have my smoothies. Um... But on Sundays, we only eat two meals, um, a bigger one for lunch. But today, it's not going to be so big because I think we're having pork chops, probably with some type of potato and a vegetable. Um, Jerry plans on working out into his um, wood shop area. He has a um, vintage tool chest that he wants to um, refurbish so but anyways I'm going to let you go I'm going to finish my cup of coffee and I will um, determine what I want for breakfast and as I am watching Sault Ste. Marie live on my TV as the big ships are rolling in I hope we can make it back up there this year. So anyways, you all have a great um, Sunday. Um, if you, um, oh, I don't know what I was going to say. But anyways, you all have a great Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. Um, it's hard to believe that next Sunday is Easter. So do you have plans for Easter? Do you have family that comes over? Do you cook a big meal or do and if you do what do you cook um, and comment below our kids are coming over and we usually do um, ham and um, some type of potato and vegetables and then they just bring stuff so I will chit chat with you as soon as I figure out what I want for breakfast breakfast today is a smoothie it is a six point breakfast I use this Coffee Mate um, sugar-free creamer. You get three tablespoons for one point, and I probably use a tablespoon, basically. And my second cup of coffee and my smoothie. Six-point breakfast. Hey, friends. Lunch today is an eight-point lunch. It is um, pork chops that have been grilled. That is three points. I have a cup of mashed potatoes and that is five points and then I have green beans and that is free or zero points for me. Again, this is an eight point lunch. friends i hope that your um, day has been a great one it is sunday it is 7 30 p.m and um, we're all in our pjs really comfortable so i'm sitting here and i'm gonna um, start working on my cross stitch i was hope hoping that i had this all filled in there's a lot of trees filling on this <clears throat> so I do have the majority, so I thought I would do the bigger tree first. Once that's filled in, this one should go pretty quickly. So I think I'm going to work on this tonight. And um, I did finish my test knit, which is really a test crochet. And I cannot show pictures until after it's released. So 
now I'm like, what do I want to do? <laughs> but anyways, the cross stitch is this one here. Um, and this one is going to be a pretty good size one. So I keep um, working away at this one. And then you saw earlier, I tried a new um, dinner roll um, recipe. It was a buttermilk biscuit. No, it's not a biscuit, it's a roll. And I thought I would try it for Easter. Our kids are coming here, our grandkids, on Easter. And so, of course, it made 24 of them, and there's only two of us. So um, we took, um, I think, eight up to my mom and her friend and left some there. And then we have the rest of it here. When I figured up the points for it, um, I used 2% milk because it's buttermilk. So I had to turn the milk into buttermilk. And um, you just do that by adding um, lemon juice to it. So um, it was flour, sugar, salt, yeast, milk, or excuse me, buttermilk, and um, four tablespoons of butter melted mix that all together and that's what made it such a good buttermilk biscuit and it um, ended up being for me four points a roll I keep calling them biscuits it's a roll <laughs> but it's a very good um, recipe it will be linked in the description and um, I've made her um, brioche bread that's why I keep making a lot because Jerry loves her brioche bread and um, I've made her peasant bread also is very good. And now this is that um, dinner roll, buttermilk dinner roll one. But anyways, I just wanted to hop on. Um, it's been a beautiful day. It got to 51 today. It is 48 degrees. Monday and Tuesday is supposed to um, not rain until Tuesday night about supper time. So we're hoping our contractors will be able to get a lot done in those two days for the sunroom. And then Wednesday is supposed to be another stormy day. And then Thursday and Friday, no rain whatsoever. But anyways, I'm going to let you go. Miss Callie's already conked out for the, for the night. And the sun is setting out there eventually. And the birds are out there, but it's been a beautiful day. So, but anyways, I'm going to let you go and I will um, talk to you later and have a great night or day whenever you are seeing this. And um, hopefully I will see you again on Monday for you will be. Let's see. Yeah, Monday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Thanks, friends. Have a great night.